You know what I love about Israel? As you're driving pretty much anywhere in Israel, take a little detour and boom! Kever of Shimshon, the Shofate from Tanakh. Who was he, you ask? Let me tell you a little bit about Shimshon Hagibor. Well, for starters, he was a Nazir. It means no cutting of the hair and no gray products in the mouth. He was pretty much the origination story of the Hulk. Absolutely jacked. And he did something seemingly frowned upon, which is he went to live with the police who were terrorizing the Jews at the time. He did that because he didn't want them to take retribution on the Jews when he inflicted all the damage he was going to do. One time he grabbed 300 foxes, tied them up by their tails, put a torch in them, and had them run through the fields of the police ship, lighting everything on fire. One time he was tied up, he ripped out, found a donkey jaw, killed a thousand men with it, and then drank from it. Miracle donkey jaw water. But his crowning achievement? Come, look at this. Let me show you something. Right here on his grave. This final passage describes how at the end of his life he was tied up into two beams in a massive house with 3,000 police team kind of making fun of him. They finally captured their terrorizer and he ripped down the entire building with them, killing more people than he had killed in his entire life. May we all find the courage and strength to walk through life as Shimshon did, not scared of his enemies. This is another day and there is another dog. Hey everybody, today's off is Cookie Adala. That's 114. We really want to figure out when a woman can be trusted to report that her husband has passed away so we can make it okay for her to marry somebody else. For instance, if we know that they're not getting along well already, then we assume that she's making it up so she can marry somebody else. I hope none of this ever applies to any of you. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll check in with you guys tomorrow.